343 just implemented a major fix when it comes to the desync issue that's been plaguing Halo Infinite for the longest time, but it's any specific playlist. If you go into multiplayer, you'll find the Workshop Squad Battle Networking. This is a PvP environment where you can test out the new networking model that was brought in with Firefight just last week. The fact that Squad Battles is amazing. You got vehicles, you have amazing classic maps, classic gameplay stuff that you would expect to see when it comes to Halo. So I'm crazy excited for this. If you guys like these informational videos, make sure to tap like. It's the best way to help out the channel. And if you're part of that 80% of some odd people who are watching this channel who are not subscribed and want to keep up to date with everything going on with Halo, well, you know what to do then. But before we go any further, you know we gotta check out the shop since it's a brand new update day, right? So let's see what they have to offer. You have the Aqua Hex bundle right here, which gives you some pretty cool looking coatings. See some new armor sets as well. For 1600 credits, and now I'll say for 1600 credits, you get multiple armor sets as well as coatings. Low key, I've wanted this coating for quite some time. It may be worth it for you. If there was anything you were gonna pick up from the shop, it would have to be the Champion Series chair from Ewin. And that's because of the amazing features this chair has. Built in lumbar support system that you can fine tune to fit you just right, a magnetic memory foam head pillow, and armrests that go up, down, front to back, and side to side. This chair is designed to fit a wide range of people from 5 foot 3 to 6 foot 5 and can hold up to 400 pounds. As someone who's 6 foot 4, having a chair that fits me right is crucial for the everyday usage I put into it. There have been major improvements made from the last Champion Series chair. The pillows are better as they are now a soft foam material. The magnetic head pillow just makes it look so much cleaner. As someone who's owned many chairs, not many of them have built-in lumbar support that you can customize to fit you properly. Ewin also updated the armrest to feel just nicer, better materials. Assembly is super easy. Everything you need comes with the chair. And tis the season for gift giving. Check out the links in the pinned comment or description if you're looking for a new gaming chair. When you use my code, you get 25% off your purchase, plus a little bit of kickback helps support the channel. And let's get right back into those details. You also have the Groovy Grendel, which is a another reuse patch right here but this coating looks kind of crazy especially on these weapons dude like that is some wild polka dots going on right there you also have this crazy looking coating for looks like the chimera core only but i mean this will definitely make you stand out if you if that's your idea of a uh, good customization then uh well it's gonna fit, definitely be doing that for you the balor bundle which again we've seen is previously within halo infinite Pretty solid weapon coating, but again, nothing too crazy. Armor sets look kind of standard, but you know, if you're into that kind of stuff, especially for this helmet, definitely more unique than other helmets you can get within the game. So if that's your jam, well then more power to you. If this will load, no, not going to, you're just gonna, yeah, it's, it doesn't exist. There we go, we got it to work. Scanned reflexes, which is for the Chimera Core here. Pretty cool looking coatings for your weapons. If that's like your color scheme, I know some Twitch streamers will definitely like that color scheme. Some crazy looking cat. I'm gonna call this the cat helmet for the Chimera. Like, come on, it looks like a cat. You got the ears up here, the dilated pupils. I mean, like, it's a cat. So it has a cool sword in the front and the previous bundles we've seen with the transgressor George looking like a old floody boy. We also have the high breaker Bunyip, like we mentioned previously, still in here. The overwhelmingly good selling Mark V armor set from C. Yeah, you see, I had to kind of splurge on that a little bit. The combined arms, which we've had already, the Sky Marcher, the pilot. And then for the daily stuff, we also have this new coating as well as the Vibrant Horizon coating. Not only do we have the new networking model playlist, which we're gonna check out later in this video, we also have a returning playlist. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be big fans of the ranked tactical playlist as well. So you can have your ranked SWAT experience as much as you like with some Forge maps mixed in there as well as your vanilla maps. Okay, let's jump in and check out the workshop playlist here for squad battles. Okay, first thing we gotta talk about, like why is this a big deal? Why is having a networking PVP environment important for Halo Infinite? Well, it's because decent, but like what is desync actually, right? Some people just think, oh, I lagged around the corner and died. That's uh, that's a desync issue. Not necessarily. What desync really is, is what is happening on your screen is not actually happening according to the server. Here's a video I found online with the magic of fancy editing to showcase what desync actually is. You see how this one player is trying to drive a vehicle and well, what's happening on this game 
is not exactly what's happening according to the server. This kind of issue has been what's been plaguing Halo. Ooh, nice snipe on the spawn. God, I'm a horrible person for doing that. But the big issue is what's happening on your screen compared to what's happening in game could be two completely different things, which is what you do not want to have happen. So what is it that we're looking for within this video? One, we're gonna be looking for like janky movements, like melees, vehicles, player movements, physics, and things like that. We're gonna be looking for melees not connecting. One thing I actually gotta check out here is the gravity hammer because I heard with the new networking model, it actually lost its physics. So let's see, do people get thrown around a little bit when I slam? When I slam? Oh, yes, a doubles feels good. And those guys were flying. I don't know, maybe the physics are back with this update. I also saw online saying you can't catch fusion coils anymore. So maybe with this new update that's been brought into the PvP environment, that hopefully has been fixed. We'll have to wait and see. And apparently things can still be kind of glitchy with man cans, which has always been a decent point of issue as well. We're thinking you can kind of teleport back around. Things can just get really weird when it comes to desync stuff. Or like in that video I showed earlier, you know, sometimes we gotta keep an eye on vehicles, which we can try to test out right here. Like, yep, don't see on my vehicle. That was mine. I am making content here, man. I'm trying to show the people the lack of desync that this place is supposed to have right now, all right? But sometimes with vehicles, you can have like some janky movements where you'll be teleporting back and forth or like you'll stutter a little bit or something. So basically, if nothing weird happens in this game, then the things have improved when it comes to desync. If you don't notice anything, that's a good thing. Hey, we got a nice little double. No! Yeah, no, get him off, get him off! No! Get me back! Thank you. No! Also, apparently, since we're playing Team Slayer, it only goes to 50 in squad battles, which is a. Uh, that's a pretty fast game. I'm pretty sure 343 just deliberately did that just to, so they can get games in and out as quickly as possible to get as many tests. Oh, give me that. If we're doing tests here, okay? So let me have this. Oh, right in the face, there we go. So yeah, we gotta test out, especially like the spinning maneuvers you would have with the banshee here. Sometimes things can get real janky with that when it comes to desyncing issues. Come on, little pit a patter of bullets right there in your face. I'm gonna splatter this dude. I will have to say so far, not that much jankiness going on, guys. Like it's kind of playing as the game is kind of supposed to play, which is an odd compliment I'd say to give, but it, it's happening like this, man. It's working. No, I got zippity zap. Oh no, and there's a wraith looking at me. This can't be good. Oh no, they got me. No. Hey, you know what? Even though I got a handful of kills, but not too shabby, it felt good. It, nothing felt weird, which is, again, like the most important thing about this entire playlist is, does anything feel weird? Do you notice anything from the gameplay that's not supposed to happen? If you don't notice anything, that means it's working. Keep in mind with these workshop playlists, 343 always does a survey at the end as well. So then you can give your feedback and let them know what's working, what's not working for you. I have a feeling when it comes to the desync issue within Halo Infinite, it affects people with certain connections or maybe some unstable connections because from my experience, I mean, like I've had it happen a handful of times, like literally in like the hundreds of hours I've put into playing Halo Infinite. Oh yeah, we got recognized. So as someone like me, I haven't really experienced too much desync, so I might not be like the best person to test out exactly what's going on, but like I've definitely noticed like weird janky things happening when it comes to the networking of the game though as well. Hey friend. It's always nice getting recognized in the lobbies. Make sure you go like, oh yes, that's right. These are people who are in the community. They aren't just like numbers and weird demons around Twitter trying to get engagement. Oh, another easy little kill, a killjoy as well. No fun for anybody in this lobby except for me. Oh no, maybe for them. Can I just say it's also, it seems like it's a super fast turnaround because we were just talking about, oh, potentially 343 could make a playlist that's designed with the new networking model. No, you don't. No. When you need desync the most, man. I don't know what 343 has been doing over there, but whatever it is, it seems to work because they've been able to get these updates out like extra fast on this Banshee again. It's like a Banshee in Exile would be really weird to play on, but we'll see. Bloop. What? Okay, that was desync, 100%. No. <laughs> How dare I miss a shot? There we go. See, double kill. See, when things don't go my way, it's clearly desync. Let's ever bullying this kid right here. Don't mind me. I would say you could also expect to see some fixes when it comes to getting like shot around corners and weird things like that that can happen occasionally with Halo Infinite because, well, well things with Halo Infinite are just weird, man. Sometimes things work. Oh my god, now we're getting blasted. Get out! Try 1v1 me with a turret? Ain't happening. You two? Ain't happening. You three? Ain't happening. Oh my gosh, dude. I feel like I'm being mean right now. Oh, uh, teammates got about to board that boy. I'm about to blast him up. There we go. Kill frenzy. <laughs> Ridiculous. 
proficiency. Exactly, Joseph Stain. All right, we gotta capture the flag this time. Maybe I might be able to talk about things for more than two seconds. Maybe not, they already took our flag. It'll be very interesting to see what the turnaround is when it comes to this networking model. If it's something that can be added into Halo Infinite soon after this playlist. Like we've been talking about, the turnaround when it comes to updates for Halo Infinite have been insanely improved for uh, what, the last few months, like the live service has actually been alive. Talking about live service, we also have a new operation coming in with the winter contingency event, which is gonna be really awesome. Bringing some new unlocks and stuff you can try out. Dude, I'm just hitting bodies. I need headshots, man. I believe if you're camo with the flag, you, they can't figure out where you are. So as long as I just keep casually walking, they will never know that I have the flag. Okay, now they do. Oh God, run. Deliver the bed boy. Yes. Right back at you, no! Oh wait, that was a weird, oh, we're getting packet loss? Oh dude, don't do this to me right now. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, say it ain't so. The enemy team took advantage of that and just scored another flag cap on us, brothers. Let's carry this flag out while as well. Make something happen. I think we got it clear. We can do this, why not? Get that flag, baby! Oh, they're tag teaming with a Warhog? Dude, this is some coordination. The, the near-term future Halo is exciting, man. Finally getting that game everyone kind of expected to get uh, about two years ago. But, you know, better late than never. Watch this. Watch this. What? This person's going to be waiting for it right here. I'm bamboozling them so bad right now. My, no, I'm, okay, I bamboozled myself. Oh, no. It's a self-sabotage. Teammate, no! Teammate, I just needed your help. Where were you? Oh yeah, of course she wants the gun. All right, I'll jump in. We'll go. We'll make it happen. Shoot the guy in front of me then. No! Oh my gosh! How did we survive that? Get the kills, buddy. Get that one more. One more. Get him up. Clean him up. Yeah. Do we should have face tank that rocket? I don't think we should be alive right now, but somehow we made it through. Can we survive this to get the get this flag? Hopefully, I'll help you, buddy. All right. No, why would you leave the warrior again? Hey, okay, let's grab this. Let's do it, buddy. Where are you going with the... No, we have vehicles here. What are you doing? With the... Uh. If we get this flag cap, it's a win. Teammate is being the most casual runner possible. Just go. Do it. It's for the win. Jump down. Touch it. Oh, wait. We have to have our flag now, too. Whoops. Yeah, that whole, like, little detail kind of missed me right there. Melee the guy. Flag boy. There you go. We're on the hunt for the enemy flag carrier. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes, good start. Where's the flag carrier? He's gotta be in the base right here, right? <gasps> we found him! The teammate with the hammer! Let's make it count! Returned. Camp it, boys. It's all you! Yeah! So besides that unstable pack of loss that could be on me, that could be on the server itself rather than the networking, but other than that, I don't know. Things have been working pretty well. I'm excited to see what happens next. If you guys are new to channel, content from recently, check out this video right here. And thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Peace out.